Crossstar stared at each of his siblings. They avoided his gaze with animal-like instinct. Only Hideyoshi was slow in avoiding it. So he was caught by Cross's gaze. Hideyoshi God damn it. <laughs> <笑>うちの人の話は関係ないでしょ。もう he was bought out, so he needs to buy his company back. That's why they need. Oh, each of them are gonna have their own reasons why they need an advance on this money. There you go. That's why it's the fucking ten percent. Yep. Good faith, my ass. No. I just did a little research. Public knowledge. Yeah, I definitely uh, get all the dirt I could on everyone before on uh, before this kind of meeting. <laughs> Hey, you guys did the same to me, so why can't I do it to you? Cross grinned broadly. In contrast, Hideyoshi's face was rapidly turning pale. Hideyoshi's company was a restaurant chain management company that he'd started from nothing. Thanks to Hideyoshi's management efforts, the company had achieved success repeatedly, expanding its range. In a petition to make it a stock, you know, a stock list company, it had recently succeeded. The great advantage of being in the stock holding system is that you can sell stock certificates and gain a, a large amount of finance. Oh yeah, it's an easy way to make money. Well, not make money. It, it's like, you know, a type of loan. That amount tends to be far greater than a business's normal profits. So this is an extremely effective way to gather massive funds to expand a business even further. However, in exchange for financing the company, the stock shareholders gain certain rights because they earn a certain percentage of the company. They've given, they're given rights that allow them to observe and guide the company they've instilled, uh, they've invested in, leading to profits even greater than their original investments. <clears throat> this right is guaranteed to the stockholders, and they sometimes use it to dismiss ineffectual management. The right allows them to keep an eye on management and prevent the money they've invested in the company from going to waste. However, if they use it forcibly, they can eject the former management and take over the company. After all, dismissing the management and nominating new management are powers held by the general body of all shareholders. That power is determined, to, determined by the majority decision of the stockholders. The people who hold more stocks get to cast more votes. In other words, if some person or group holds a majority of the stocks, they can freely chase out the old management and make the president anyone they like. If they want, it's also possible for them to make themselves president. Most companies take various defensive measures to stop malicious people from buying up their stock and threatening their position. Like ensuring that lots of stock is bought by those close to them, such as company employees. Well, I know this is a lot, but it's like a bunch of like chain like people before they go onto the market, like the stock market will offer it to their employees first because if they have like x percentage like they're owned by the employees they can't be bought out and so it's easier that way and then of course if you own a lot of it or at least someone near you owns a lot of it it's kind of, it's an easy way to do it you just have to think about it However, Hideyoshi's company had only recently become stockless and he hadn't had time to strengthen those defensive measures. Or maybe Hiro Hideyoshi was so engrossed in the management of his company that he couldn't properly understand the dangers of being stockless. And it's hard to say whether, whether he should be viewed as a kind-hearted management immersed in the work of management or a foolish manager who had his feet swept out from under him. The latter. He didn't realize the dangers. In other words, 
There existed some people who wouldn't let him get away with uh, naive naivety unscathed. They began rapidly buying up stock in Hideyoshi's company, rapidly gaining such strength that they couldn't be ignored. They even they then sent an anonymous documents to the shareholders in an attempt to gain control of the majority. The documents read, the current management continues to make pointless investments and is ignoring the needs of the stockholders. This forced the, man the current management to retire, cut the current wasted, uh, current wasted investments, and let the, co the company be born again as one that gives more back to the stockholders. It's very difficult to make the actual state of a company's management known. The fruits of Higuro Hideyoshi's th sleepless nights and constant concern for his company were cruelly distorted and he lost the trust of his stockholders. Thanks to these efforts, this group had almost collected a majority of the company's stock. At that point, even Hideyoshi noticed and started to buy back the stock, but the stockholders realized that the company was undergoing an acquisition maneuver, and each demanded a ridiculous price for the shares that Hideyoshi was trying to buy back. They continually tortured Hideyoshi, who had no leeway in the negotiation of the price. One of the certificate uh, certainties of capitalism is that the price will rise when two parties vie for the same thing. Competition makes the pr price, you know, depending on <laughs> how desperate you are. The And one of the certainties of democracy is that the majority controls everything. So in the end, whoever manages to buy up the most stocks win. But anyone, but another way, put another way, whoever has the most money wins. Unless Hideyoshi could obtain a large sum of money, at this critical time he could easily lose all that he had built so far. Therefore, more than anything else, he wanted a lot of money right now. He couldn't wait for the division of Kinzo's inheritance, since no one knew he when he would die. <laughs> アメリカの裁判は極めて感情的に決まる。彼らは外国人に寛大な判決などが終始し、何の話いや、まあ仕事上のトラブルさ。Oh shit, she didn't know? Oh, you're in some deep shit. Yeah, with money you need now. Kyrie immediately guessed the meaning behind the subtle expression on Rudolph's face. Her husband had gotten wrapped up in some kind of trouble without her knowledge, and had been worrying over it alone. <laughs>。Oh, what the did you like break a fucking law or two? Rudolph had been building a large amount of wealth with a certain type of niche industry. However, a niche is a niche. It definitely wasn't a business exposed to the light of day. An American corporate giant was trying to accuse Rudolph's company of violating the rights. For various reasons, it was thought for that victory for Rudolph in this trial would be extremely unlikely, and he was being for forced into an all-out surrender. But even so, there was a way for this to be resolved with money. If he could just pay that money, it might still be painful, but he wouldn't he'd be able to pick himself up back up. But if he didn't pay, he'd lose everything. Therefore, more than anything else, he wanted a lot of money right now. <laughs> Okay then. <laughs> Rosa uncharacteristically laid bare her emotions and yelled. After all, no one was supposed to know that. 
As Crouch watched, he let slip a muffled laugh. Without exception, every one of them, more than anything else, wanted a lot of money right now. In other words, the situation had been reversed. After all, the person the younger siblings were threatening was the only one who had an urgent need for a large sum of money. Who had no urgent need for a large sum of money. The other three, however, wanted a lot of money quickly no matter the cost. In other words, the longer it took to establish this deal, the better position Krauss would be in. Krauss was ex extremely sly. Oh, I guess I can wait on this. <laughs> God, fucking sit on it. He had known of their Achilles heel from the beginning. Even so, he, he had not been so certain. Therefore, he had hid hidden his knowledge until the very end, striking back only after analyzing their attitudes. Damn, that's how you fucking do business. Cross elated Cross's elated words were so obviously detached from what he actually felt. The other siblings could do nothing more than to listen, grinding their teeth. If they could think of a sponsor that convenient, they wouldn't have kept up this charade. They had entered this ba huge battle specifically because they had exhausted all of other options. <laughs> as much as he is a dick, that's a that's a pretty good way of turning it on. Huh? Cross's low, gloating laugh began to fill the parlor. The younger siblings, who had been dri driving the oldest brother into a corner until a moment ago, could do nothing more than grimace and grind their teeth. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> Oh, you sound a little upset there. Well, at least Rosa's honest, at least. Can I just get some help here? <laughs> ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
それでその突きつけた条件というのは何かはいクラウス様は黄金の発見を問わずにその分け前としてエヴァ様ルドルフ様ローザ様に計75億円を支払うことただしその1割を3月までに支払うこと<笑>クラムスのマヌケメン弟たちに足をさらわれるとはな実に愉快ではないかしかし爪が甘いようだなはいクラウス様はそれをエヴァ様以下お三人が緊急に大金を用立てする必要があるためとカンパされました。Okay, I'm glad. It's weird that he's just like, you know, accepted and he'd like the serpent. You like, you, I thought he only like talked with the, the head butler. Strange. Some of the people who are not a campa, they kill no ka. Chew to hampa ni muno na o tokumi. Genta set down his spectacles and snorted. I guess it's fucking real! I'm gonna go find me some gold. ものどものどんよくさが偉大なる魔法に奇跡を宿らせるのだだがもし奇跡の成就が先だったなら先だったならベアトリーチは再び蘇るのだ。ベアトリーチ奇跡を落とす聖なる夜がやってくるぞ悪魔たちとのゲームが始まるぞ私は飛ぶ近づ絶対に生き残る <laughs> Take another cigarette break, buddy. Kinzo choked, apparently in great pain. Kanan got closer and tried to pat his master's back, but Kinzo motioned for him to stop. Because no one will ever figure out the riddle? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no. Mahono Okay. I think you're going I think you're just insane. You are full of shit, old man. Sure. 
つまりはこういうことだベアトリーチェの碑文の謎を解いた者には私が築き上げてきた全てを与えよう富名誉黄金そして後ろ宮家の家督私が築き上げてきた全てだその謎に挑む資格があるのは何も私の息子たちだけとは限らぬたとえお前であってもその謎を解けたなら全てを得る資格があるのだ Even you, servant boy. <laughs> はいですが僕にはあのような難しい謎は分かりかねません Shut the fuck up, Cannon. No one does. 無論だ何回見つく Of course, it's supposed to be hard, you dipshit. Dunga, Omae mo idome. Sore ga waga maho no kiseki o yobu kate to naru. Dare mo ga idome, dare ni mo itare na katta ra, sono toki wa sono toki. Dunga, kiseki ga tsudoi, maho no chikara ga umare ta nara, sono toki koso. ベアトリーチェがよみがえるのだだからお前も挑め誰もが挑めそして我が魔法に力を捧げるのだわかるな Yes, sir はい努力します I don't want to, though For a long while, Kenzo repeatedly muttered to himself agitated and clutching at his head Kennen stayed where he was, alert and unmoving, until he was given the next order from his master. Kenzo eventually realized this. Thank you. For what? Oh my god. I swear to god, if that's just every... <laughs> If it, if that's hit, like, if Maria has the ooh, ooh I think Cannon just has the I am furniture. Good God, if he just says that at the end of every fucking line. <laughs> you forgot to remind him that you're still furniture. Kenan bowed and left the study. As the door closed, a heavy locking, heavy locking noise sounded out. Can we just have like a nice day at the beach? Not have to worry. But it was not the sound of Cannon locking the door. It was the door locking automatically. No one could enter without Kenzo's per permission, and once they left, they could not enter again. It was a mechanism that Kenzo, unable to trust his blood relatives, had created to seal himself up in his own study and isolate himself from the outside world. He was already unable to trust anyone except, except him. Not the children who shared his blood, but those servants who called themselves furniture. Like shit. Oh, Genji san. With a bitter laugh, Nanjo turned the fa to face the door to, uh, to the parlor. That look was apparently enough to tell Genji what Nanjo wanted to say. For the most part, Genji also understood the family situation. It must have made him. Uh, Want and frown, knowing that right now in the lounge, the master he served was being discussed so disrespectfully. But it would have been very difficult to gather that from his indifferent expression. <laughs> Nanja looked at the portrait of Beatrice. No, he actually directed his gaze beneath the portrait at the plate with the epitaph. 
考えがあってのこととお察しします金蔵さんのケースは昔から随分と縁大な読みで布石を打たれるものでしたいや時には理解できない一手さえ私ごとく文明では何を目論まれているのか皆目見当もつきませんが私はこれを親方様の何かの遺言状ではないかと考えていますそれを理解できたものに財産や家族をお譲りになられようということなのでしょう That seems つまり私のようなよそ者に解かれてしまう前に兄弟4人で協力し合って謎を解け金蔵さんは息子さんたちのことを口悪く物知ってはいますがなんとか兄弟が仲を取り戻してほしいと願われているのかもしれませんが I don't think he cares that much It certainly would be heartwarming if As Nanjo had, su Nanjo had suggested, this epitaph had been made to repair the siblings' relationship. However, both Nanjo and Genji knew that nothing could be more impossible than this. They'd known Kinzo longer than anyone, and Kinzo trusted them more than his own relatives. But even they could not have guessed at his true motives. <laughs> I'd still give it a fucking shot. I don't care, it's worth it. お迎えが来るまでの間ゆっくり楽しむことができそうです源次さんこそいかがですか私には親方様にお使いする家具にすぎません黄金も,も,も財産も私には不要なものやはりやはり本当に謙虚な方ですだからこそ金蔵さんもあなたには As Nanjo lightly laughed in response, he once again looked at the epitaph. The epitaph on the portrait called My Beloved Witch Beatrice goes as follows Behold the sweet fish river running through my beloved hometown. You who seek the golden land follow its path downstream in search of the key. As you travel down it, you will see a village. In that village, look for the shore the two will tell you of. There sleeps the key to the golden land. The one who obtains the key must then travel to the Golden Land in accordance with these rules. On the first twilight, offer the six chosen by the key as sacrifices. On the second twilight, those who remain shall tear apart the two who are close. On the third twilight, those who remain shall praise my noble name. On the fourth twilight, gouge the head and kill. On the fifth twilight, gouge the chest and kill. On the sixth twilight, gouge it the stomach and kill. On the seventh twilight, gouge the knee and kill. On the eighth twilight, gouge the leg and kill. On the ninth twilight, the witch shall revive and none shall be left alive. On the tenth twilight, at journey's end, you shall obtain the power of the golden land's treasure, once and for the last time. The witch shall praise the wise and bestow four treasures. One shall be all the gold from the golden land. One shall be the resurrection of all the dead souls. One shall be the resurrection of the love that was lost. One shall be put to the 
will be to put the witch to sleep for all time. Sleep peacefully, my beloved witch Beatrice. Hell yeah. I, I mean, fuck, you know, some of those wishes or treasures. I just want the gold. <laughs> and maybe resurrect some love or whatever. Transition screen. Finally got that fucking uh, riddle, though. Looks confusing as fuck. It's long as shit. 